Hi everyone, this is Karen and thank you for joining me on, uh, on another speed paint video. This time I, I tried to mix uh, a little bit my art supplies because um, I kind of wanted to see if, um, if the paper I bought uh, at Tiger was really really that uh, awful. And uh, so I thought, uh, hey, oh, you can see my face in there. I didn't notice. <laughs> well, all right, you can see my face. Please do not look at me. Um, no, well, um, I'm using my Daniel Smith set. It's, um, it's actually an old uh, Winsor & Newton uh, Cotman palette. Uh, and uh, I took out uh, the, the pens. Uh, and um, yeah, since the the color itself uh, didn't want to come out of the pants, and the ones I bought were too big to fit in the holes, I decided to take the paint uh, out of the tubes and just uh, squeeze it in in the holes, and uh, so I was able to build uh, my own palette uh, like I wanted. So I have, uh, you know, the usual warm and uh, cool yellow, um, red and uh, and blue. Then I have two two browns. I think it's burnt umber and rose sienna, or the inverse. And then I have, uh, can't remember, sap, like sap green, I think. Anyway, there are 12. And they are the colors uh, I like most, even though they're not the, um, the ones I'm most comfortable with. Because I haven't had them for, for a long time, but I think they are the ones that uh, give me the, the best results. So I wanted to use the, the best paints uh, I had with the best uh, brushes I had and, uh, you know, try try to see if uh, the paper was truly that uh, unusual. Well, no, it's uh, it's a thick paper, so it didn't buckle a lot, but uh, mm, yeah, it kind of has this uh, this pattern uh, that uh, I don't really like. I prefer a more well, not organic, but something that looks uh, less like it was made uh, in a factory by by a print so yeah i like more my my grains to be uneven here yes i just uh, threw some colors in it if you are interested in uh, in the brushes here i'm using um, da vinci casaneo it's uh, that one is a size four i think because I couldn't find uh, the six uh, at my art store, so I had to wait, uh, and then it was uh, sold out again. So I kind of gave up <laughs> a little bit. And that one, it's actually a pretty good brush for for the price it has. It's not it's not cheap, but it's a uh, synthetic sable, so it costs uh, less than uh, what you would spend for. A real for brush and uh, instead the one I used for for the skin which is the one I use for details is uh, a Winsor & Newton uh, series 7 for miniatures it's a size 4 and yeah that one wasn't wasn't cheap but the fact that the um, the brush it's not a brush the the hair, the length of the hair, it's uh, it's basically shorter, so it gives you um, a better control over um, over the direction and uh, yeah the size of uh, of the stroke. Uh, um, it really helps me because I um, I have trouble with water. I have trouble with uh, you know deciding the colors. So. At least uh, having a definite direction helps uh, somehow. 
so yeah here I had uh, no idea what color to use for the hair so I chose a blonde because I decided to reuse the um, the color the base color of uh, of the skin and just add, uh, add some uh, some yellow and uh, yes this is a thing I noticed that I don't clean my <laughs> my palette so I have to I always start with uh, the same colors I le I left uh, with the previous painting so I'm kind of forced to use always the same palette and I really really need to to start cleaning it but uh, well guess who just left their palette on their pad to dry yeah that's right okay so little bit of wings yes this is um you know the the simple character design you use when uh, you don't want to actually think about uh, what what you're doing uh, you don't want to make an effort <laughs> okay <laughs> sorry sometimes i have troubles finding the, the right words and uh, yeah here i am uh, almost finished and uh, since it's an angel, I thought, hey, why not make the um, the halo gold? And I have purchased this wonderful set uh, by Primatech, no, Fintech, sorry. And uh, it's a set of uh, six colors, five are golds and one is silver, which is like uh, the most used uh, gold metallic palette before the Kuretake came out with their starry colors but I find that I love this, uh, these colors and um, I've used them uh, a lot and they're good for for detailing but for flat washes uh, of colors it's they're really not that good you tend to to see some places where the pigment um, where the pigment is less so you can see like holes and uh, the paper shines through and uh, yeah here I clean my brushes and uh, let my my drawing to dry and uh, I'm searching for the right size of the pen of course I couldn't find it so I had to use uh, a bigger, a bigger pan, but it was fine anyway. And uh, yes, about the the fine tech golds, I really, really do like them for for details because the hues of uh, of the gold are really, really different. You so you have the the warm tone, the cold tone, the more reddish one, uh, the one that looks more silver, and uh, of course you have silver. And uh, so you you have a good choice, and it's it's not that expensive. It was about uh, thirty six euros, uh, including shipping. So yeah, not that bad compared to other kinds of of paint. And they're going to last you for a long time. I've used them a lot, and uh, I have yet to like make holes in the, in the pans. And uh, yeah, you can buy them uh, separately. So if you have a preference, my preference is for the Aztec Gold, which is the one is the one I used here. You can just uh, buy the the pan, and you can uh, pluck out uh, the the used one and just uh, shove the new one in, and you will always have your your complete set. Here I am, uh, yeah, doing the line art. I had my my pencil design uh, on the bottom. I used um, a light pad for trans to to transfer it, to trace it actually, and uh, I'm going to do a review on that as well. But uh, I was kind of lazy and. Uh, yeah, I have something else to do in the meantime, so I didn't want to like stop filming every five seconds to go do what I had to do. And uh, 
and uh, yeah one of the things I've noticed is that uh, I am more comfortable with doing the line art after when I do uh, people or watercolor designs uh, but when I when I draw architecture I do prefer to have the, the lines uh, already there because when I mm, when I paint over the lines, the the more um, the more opaque uh, watercolors tend to uh, like uh, dull a little bit the the black, so it gives it a more I don't know painterly feeling to it. It's something I really appreciate on uh, on architecture, but uh, on character designs, I I love my stronger outlines I like to see the I like to see the black okay and uh, yeah one uh, another things I tend to do is to uh, keep uh, solid black lines where the shadows are and instead just kind of uh, do scratches here and there or dots where the where the light is supposed to go and I think uh, it keeps it more that even though I don't like uh, going over the black lines on the shadow side to give it more depth so yeah, anyway it was just uh, just a doodle so okay <laughs> um, yeah here I am almost done. I had second thoughts about the wings because uh, I liked them uh, as they were but uh, since I kind of uh, did one I also had to do the other one. And, uh, yeah. I don't know what to say. Um, my supplies are always the same, the pen is an echo uh, pigment from Faber-Castell while the, um, the white pen is one I've seen uh, most watercolor users uh, on YouTube use it's an Unibol Signo and uh, I, I, uh, here it is. I really really like it, uh, even though it doesn't dry quite that fast so I tend to, I don't have a scheme when I do my whites, uh, so I tend to put my hand uh, over the spots I colored and uh, since it doesn't dry fast uh, I kind of raise my hand and uh, I have uh, white dots uh, all over the side of my right hand and uh, it's kind of annoying. But the nice thing is that uh, even when you um, press over it and you kind of take away some color, some uh, color does remain on the painting and it doesn't smudge. So uh, yeah, I don't suggest like uh, going over it trying to take it out but uh, if you accidentally put your hand over it like I do it's not going to, to ruin your painting. Yeah, here I noticed that uh, I had dots on my hand. I always do. And, uh, also for this video I went the extra length uh, since I I did not zoom in and that is a mistake I will need to correct. I took a picture so, and uh, tried some uh, movie maker effects. So well, let's try to see if they are <laughs> if they're good enough to use for next time as well. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much for for watching this and for listening to me and uh, hope to see you next time. <laughs>